Katerina Vucina, and this is Kostas Kukumakas. We are both journalists and members of the Crisis Reporting Resource Team at IMED. Covering crisis is challenging, and we all know it. It demands not only specialized skills, but also a deep understanding of the unfolding situations. After the war in Gaza broke last fall, our colleague Dimitris Bunyas envisioned the Crisis Reporting Resource, or CRR for short, as a comprehensive tool to understand how journalists can do this crucial work. Today, accurate and insightful reporting are essential. That's why CRR provides resources to help journalists deliver this high quality and impactful work. It contains original content in Greek and English, spanning from explainers to analysis to tools. At the same time, we partnered with a network of organizations such as Reporters Without Borders and the Global Investigative Journalism Network, among others, translating the work into Greek. So what CRR uh, offers? Firstly, original analysis. This year, we published uh, a three-part analysis regarding the relations between Greece and Israel over time. It is a 13,000-word investigation, including maps and interactive charts. CRR also published a special report over the, the U.S. trade war. It is a series of uh, original editorials that tried to set light on the key aspects uh, of, of the war, uh, like uh, between the US and China, like, like the war on uh, electric vehicles or microchips or even TikTok, especially in view of uh, the American elections. At the same time, uh, CRR interviews are included uh, in the podcast series Small Talk by IMED. We talked with uh, Shuruka Assad, the award winning uh, journalist and spokesperson for the Palestinian journalistic uh, syndicate. The same with Jason Rezaian. He was the former uh, correspondent for the Washington Post in Iran. He was charged with espionage against Iran. Uh, this is the so-called uh, secret operation uh, Project Avocado. So we create explainers designed for the fast-paced demands of daily reporting. For example, this is an explanatory video for the famine as a weapon of war in Gaza. This is also a 10-part series of explanatories uh, for journalists who want to follow uh, underreported crisis in 2024. In the same spirit, we created a quick guide on how to track a ship in easy steps following the Houthi attacks on vessels at the Red Sea. And finally, uh, let us uh, tell you a few words about our latest project, regarding the Nagorno-Karabakh uh, crisis and the people who have been displaced. The project uh, actually consists uh, of a six-minute uh, video with testimonies of ethnic Armenians who left Nagorno-Karabakh a year ago. This is the human cost of the underreported conflict between Azerbaijan and Armenia that has lasted four decades. And because it is an underreported uh, conflict, this is uh, the reason that the second part of the project is aimed at a journalist who wish to report on the region. It could be called how to report uh, the Nagorno-Karabakh crisis. Can independent journalists and foreign media work in the region? Can they even freely get there? And what uh, risks are there? For example, how to avoid uh, to wish uh, to, to wash, excuse me, the state propaganda. Uh, that uh, from us. Uh, to learn more, you can visit our website, lab.imed.org. Thank you. Thank you.